Today we're going to review the two types of geometrics test, how and when to take them, and how they're similar and how they're different. So, um, if it's an Adobe Creative Cloud 18, 19, 20 test, that means it has to be run in the classroom on the desktop. Make sure that Photoshop is not open. And you can go to your desktop and double click and open Geometrics. Here's the new section. So when you first log in, as you saw, it may ask you some of those CAPTCHA questions where you have to identify buses, trains, and boats. So after you identify those and you have the white screen, simply close Geometrics once, go back and open it again, and it should open right up. Okay, so I did my verification. And you may need to do it more than once. Okay, so after I've logged in, I'm just going to click the close. And then I should be able to open it right back up to begin with Geometrics. So here's the example of where you can do Geometrics from any web browser. Um, so you're going to go to Geometrics.net and log in through the student panel. Um, you can click Test, New Test. So remember, if you're taking it, through the web browser. On this one, you're going to need to choose the one that says Adobe Certified Professional 19-20-21 Photoshop. And then you can do whichever questions your teacher has assigned. Okay. And you only have to enter your access codes in once. Um, so, you can answer a question. Okay, if you get it wrong, it'll let you know and be sure that you read the information about it. Um, you can mark for a review and skip it. Um, there are quite a few of these where it is, um, you have to like click and drag for the vocabulary. Um, if I click the three lines here, it's going to let me see all the questions and if I've answered them, if I've gotten them right or wrong. Okay, so this is the part I really want you to see. So in the version running through a web browser, all of Photoshop is not live. Instead, only a few certain places are. Um, so this says select the layer out and about, save it, um, and then accept all other defaults. Okay. And if you get really confused, you can click the little light bulb there, and it will give you some hints here. All right, so in this case, we want to do control click on the out and about layer. And we want to go to the select. Um, save selection. Um, we're going to type out and about text and click OK. And then the lab is complete. Okay, and then we can go on to the next. Okay, so here I want to use the image menu to change the size of the canvas. So as you can see, there's very few parts are open. Okay, so again, this one, um, through this mode, all of Photoshop is not running. Um, it's a very small part of that. You also see quite a few questions where they have um, a picture of the desktop with some items labeled. And again, at this point, we may not have covered every single thing in Photoshop. That's why we're doing this to prepare for the exam. Um, so if I'm trying to figure out what will allow us to bend, you know, I can always just take a guess and see how that goes. And if I get it wrong, I can go back and try it again. 
Um, finally, if I end up trying to do something and it gets all weird, I can click the reset button here and it will reset. Um, this right here is the question code. Um, so later, if you have questions about a very specific one, um, then you can go and tell me that code to get help. Um, finally, right here, if we click the A's, um, that will enlarge the size of the font to make it a little bit easier for you to read. On your Photoshop exam, you're going to have about 15 questions just like this where you're going to have to know the tools, what the tools does, and you're going to need to be able to click and drag. Um, so remember, on these, um, make sure, even if you get them wrong, uh, make sure you go back and look at them carefully um, to see what you need to do to get them correct. At the end, you can click Save, um, or over here in the left, um, you can also click Save and Exit. Finally, you can look at your completed test and you can look at your grades um, and see the grades on your completed test. Um, a new thing I just noticed I have is if we click Study Guides, okay, and the, I'm going to choose the one for Adobe Certified Professional. That's the test I was just on. Um, later, I can do my practice exams. And it will let me know which of the items I have mastered. Um, over here, these are the objectives that you need to know. And every one of these will be tested on your Photoshop exam. Okay. Um, so as you kind of go through the exams, and these are the five areas that Photoshop is testing you in. And we've got to make sure that we do test to cover all five of these areas. And this will kind of help make sure that we are set for those. Okay. Now we're going to review how to do an Adobe Creative Cloud exam 18, 19, 20. This runs on the desktop and these questions can only be done in class. You have to make sure Photoshop is closed before you begin. So I'm going to do test, new test. And again, on this one, I'm going to do Adobe CC for Adobe Creative Cloud 18, 19, 20. I'm going to choose Photoshop. Um, and I'm going to do my in-app training. Um, Photoshop is actually running in the background. Okay, um, so when you're doing the geometrics in class, um, you will have to give it a couple minutes for Photoshop and Geometrics to both start and sync before you can do the exam. And there is one little setting that you have to know about, and this is only for the questions if you have to do a new document, um, is to go and set this up. And you might have to toggle this on and off. Um, and that is Edit Preferences general and then use that new legacy interface so that's just kind of a little bit different so this is running completely different as you can see geometrics is running all of photoshop completely so it's going to give you a task to do and you're going to need to do that exact the other thing with this type of test is the layer panels do not show up automatically. Um, so you're going to have to click your layers panel every time. Uh, so we want to go to the circles panel. Um, we want to change the opacity to 60. And we want to change the blending mode to hard light. And next. So in your exam, when you take your certification exam, it's going to be running like this. So that's why we pay for Geometrics, because this is exactly the way your exam will look. Okay, so I'm going to have to go and use the Crop Tool. Click Straighten, so I can go and straighten out 
click the check mark and go to the next. So if it is on training mode, um, yes, technically um, you can go and look at the directions, but with our tests being so close, um, we're really going to want to make sure that you can try to do most of these on your own. Remember, this is the control bar at the top that appears. One final note, um, if I went and looked at my window workspace, my workspace is set for the Gmetrics Plus, um, and we need to make sure it's set on that, so that way you can actually see the questions over here as well. Okay, um, so again, this is just a quick review of Gmetrics. Um, you can click Summary here. You can see which ones you've marked for review. Um, if there's one you want to go and go directly to, you can do that as well um, to use the style presets. Okay, and so if I don't see my styles, almost every time I may have to go to Window and Styles or Windows and Shapes um, to find the one that I want to use. So in this example, I did not see the styles that I wanted to, to apply. So I may have to click the three buttons and choose Legacy Styles. Okay, and now I can see my Legacy Styles below. Um, and that may be important because um, if we're being tested in a different um, level, um, then we may not see those on here.